Okay, so welcome back. My name is Remy, Mr. Abbas Glory. So uh, this, we're going to talk about the tibia. We're going to describe the tibia. Now, this is the tibia. Now, as part of the rules of describing long bone, the first thing you need to do is to follow the rules of first holding the bone superiorly and then inferiorly. Superiorly and then inferiorly. The next thing is to hold it anteriorly and then posteriorly. So you must hold the bone facing the examiner first, hold the bone from superior, and then look at the inferior part of it. Two, the anterior part of it should face the examiner while the posterior part faces you. So you cannot hold the bone like this, neither can you hold the bone like this. So the best position is to hold the bone first, superior, inferior, anterior, posterior. Now after doing this, what do you do next? The next thing is for you to start describing by saying the tibia is a long bone of the leg. Is a long bone of the leg. Be the long bone of the leg, it has two extremities and a shaft. Of course, you know, these are the two extremities or two epiphyses. Either you call it two epiphyses or two extremities. This is the shaft or you call it diaphysis. So this is the tibia, a long bone of the leg, having two extremities and a shaft. Now, superiorly is a broad head. Superiorly is a broad head. This broad head at its give rise to lateral and medial condyle. Lateral and medial condyle. Now, this lateral and medial condyle, between the lateral and medial condyle, between this lateral and medial condyle, between this lateral and medial condyle, we have a protrusion called intercondylar eminence. Between the lateral and the, between the lateral and the medial condyle, we have a protrusion called intercondylar eminence. This intercondylar eminence is what gives rise to cruciate ligament. Cruciate ligament as the femur rests on it. Now, below this broad head that gives rise to lateral and medial condyle, we have a protrusion called tibia tuberosity. Now, below the tibia tuberosity, we have the shaft. Now, this shaft, we are talking about this shaft. Within the shaft, you see the sharp edge is called anterior crest. It's called anterior crest. And it's also referred to as the shiny surface of the tibia. Now, below the shaft, the bone becomes broadened. The bone becomes broadened and gives rise to what we call the medial malulos. Called the medial malulos. And in this medial malulos, that articulate with the talus to form the ankle joint to form the ankle joint. So this is the tibia. What have I said in summary? First, you hold the bone superior, inferior, anterior, posterior. And after holding the bone anterior, posterior, superior, inferior, you start describing it by saying the tibia is a long bone of the leg having two extremities and a shaft. Superiorly is a broad head. And within the broad head, we have the lateral and the medial condyle. Lateral and media condyle. Like I said, between lateral and media condyle, we have a protrusion called intercondylar eminence that gives rise to cruciate ligament. Now, if you go to the head, we have a protrusion called tibia tuberosity. And if you go to tibia tuberosity, we have the shaft. And within the shaft, we have what we call the anterior crest, also referred to as the shiny surface. If you go to the shaft, the bone become broadening and give rise to the media malulos that articulate with the talus to form the ankle joint. Thank you.